Um, any last words? Ducker, you're a mug. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm currently in Bury St Edmunds because it's my grandma's birthday today and I thought I'd decide to do my intro today. The game's on Monday and we're playing Swansea. Grandma, where are you? Come on, I know you're hiding somewhere. Hello there. It's my birthday today. It's my grandma's birthday, so there's only one thing to do. Right, I need a few people. Come in, come on. In you come, in you come. Time to sing happy birthday. Are we all ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to grandma. Happy birthday to you. There we go. Um, so, Swansea on Monday. What are you doing? <laughs> um, and I'm excited. Grandma, any words? Yes, it's my birthday today. We are going God, what is down. that racket? And we'll come back up to the championship. Whatever is that noise? Ten years from now, Norwich City, we will beat you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Norwich, you're in the Premier League, and they're going to come back down. Norwich before you're 70. <laughs> <laughs> and this town of the Who are we? Yes. Oh what am I doing? What are you doing? Oh, not going to work. No. not going to work. Right, um, I don't know what I'm doing. This is a bit embarrassing, isn't Can't it? Can't sing. I'm a bit embarrassing, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I just wonder what the racket was. Um, Blue Army. Anyway. Super Blues. Dad, what do you think of the song? Terrible. Well, that may, that, 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 that song may have been terrible, but Mum, what have me and you been working on? We have written a rap about Ipswich and Norwich. All right, all right. That may have sounded pretty crap. Dire, dire. dire. But me and Mum, we are going to release a diss track. If this video gets how many likes? Two hundred and fifty. You'll be lucky you get fifteen. Two hundred and fifty likes. It's and worth it. No, because we're going to get to the top of the charts. Two hundred and fifty likes, and my mum and myself will release the diss track. All right. See you in the game tomorrow. Right, so I've just come outside the fan zone from an event, heard Paul Lambert speak, John Walk, Terry Butcher and some of the academy coaches, um, and after hearing some of the words they said, the future does look pr quite bright, okay, um, very excited for next season, and hopefully today against Swansea we can get a good result, okay, so remember to like this video if you enjoy it, subscribe if you are new, and come on you town. Right, we're outside Portman Road, we've got Swansea today, how are you feeling ahead of the game today buddy? Oh yeah, okay, um, hopefully we'll get a point at least what do you reckon um i've said one all yeah. so i think we'll get a draw um yeah, i think we'll get i think we'll go for one all yeah. i'll be happy with that yeah yeah the boys have got to do better than they did last week yeah so obviously we've been relegated what do you think's gone wrong this season oh i just think us you know it, um paul has inherited a rubbish team really hasn't he you know, Worst. yeah that's right it's just you know Hurst obviously messed it up to begin with i think personally um, and I think um, you know Lambert's come in, yeah, and he's had to work with a, a poor bunch really. Um, hopefully the youngsters will come through. Yeah, that's my hope for next year that you know, all the youngsters will come through um, and we'll get to get start getting some results really. Okay, well we'll finish on a positive. What's been your fondest ever moment or memory as an Ipswich Town fan? Winning the FA Cup in 1978. I was there. You were there. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Before you were born. Yeah. Well, enjoy the game today, buddy. Cheers, Cheers thank you. Cheers. Right, so outside the fan zone, I'm here with two Ipswich fans, Owen, Harrison. What are your predictions for today against Swansea? 2-1 Ipswich. 2-1 Ipswich. Yeah. Who's going to score our goals? See, no, um, <laughs> Edwards and Chalaba. Yeah. Um, Judge and Nolan. Yeah. So obviously our last home game was against Birmingham, the game where we mathematically got relegated. How did that make you feel? Um, we knew that was coming, so yeah, yeah, so 
Yeah, same as Harrison, but I did feel a little bit down. It's going, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and do you think next season we've got a chance of coming back up, or do you think it's do you think town fans are underestimating League One? Uh, League One's hard, but I reckon we'll come back up. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll come up, back up after going back down. Are we talking automatics or playoffs? What do you reckon? Playoffs. Playoffs. Well, well enjoy the game today. Cheers. Thank you. Right, I'm here with Gary. Um, how are you feeling ahead of the game today, buddy? Yeah, I'm feeling positive, really. Um, I think um, Ipswich, um, they had a good draw against Birmingham last home game, and um, the reception the players um, got from these um, your, your great fans was absolutely fantastic. That was quite kind of tear-jerking to see, really. Um, it just shows that despite all what's been happening this season, there's still a love for the football club, and I think that will um, carry you a long way through next season and yeah. hope that the automatic promotion back from um, League One up back to the Championship. Yeah. So obviously you work for Ipswich Town. Tell us a bit about your role in the club and what it's like working for Ipswich. Um, well, I started um, as an agency worker back all the way back on October 2005. Um, um, that was just after um, the the big um, playoff games against West Ham. Um, they had Sam Parkin and Nicky Forster um, signed for them just then, and um, first game was against Coventry, and really enjoyed it. Everyone, everyone that um, um, I work for here, they've treated me like family, and um, every supporter here have been so um, kind to me, and I can't thank them. Um, Enough, and it's that's not a job really for me. It's um, it's just it's just like being paid to um, to work at a great football club. Yeah. So obviously you support Newcastle. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll bring that up. Um, <laughs> yeah. So one of my favourite games was when we beat you three one. Did you yeah. go to the game? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, there was a bit, um, yeah, I, I had to sit um, in the home end because of, um, so I couldn't get a ticket, but um, I had to keep quiet when the um, Daryl Murphy goal went in. Um, <laughs> but no, um, I was, um, it was a lovely day. It was just like today, a very warm day. It was Sir Bobby Robson day and um, yeah, I was lucky enough to meet the, um, the gentleman and a great guy a few times and he was an absolute legend and um I hope he, um, he can kind of bring you some luck next season from up above and um, get you back where you belong. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any last words? Um, I'd just like to wish you the best of luck going forward and I hope um, next time we meet it's which uh, hopefully a championship club and you never know in the next three to five years a Premier League a club again. Yeah. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, Cheers. Thanks, Thank Alex. you. Cheers. Cheers. Right, I'm here with Mark Murphy, familiar face, BBC Radio Suffolk presenter. We've got Swansea today. How are you feeling? Do you know what? I'm feeling really relaxed. I was really upset last weekend when we had the R next to our name, when you saw the league table in the R there, and I was really down. And, and We knew it was coming, but I was really sad last week. I'm pretty chilled, relaxed. I mean, looking around here, looking at the fans, you wouldn't think we've been relegated. We're out, we're out just to enjoy the last few games of the season and just bring on next year, really. Yeah. I'd like to see the lads give a performance, you know, win or not, I don't mind. I just want them to see out there, go out there and give a gutsy performance. So, you know, show the fans something, give the, you know, the wonderful fans something. So obviously you've spoke to a lot of our managers. Um, Paul Lambert being our current manager, how, what do you think of him as a manager? Um, the, the jury's out, isn't it, really, if I'm honest. I, I like him as a guy. I think he's, he's built great relationship with the fans. He's done a lot around the club, inside the club. But he's got to do it on the pitch with the first team. So I, I wish him all the very best. I want him to succeed. I hope he does clearly next season. But the jury, I think, is a little bit out on that. He's got to do it on the pitch sooner rather than later. Thank you very much. Any last words? Oh, just up the town and 3-1. 3-1 at some point this season, please, for the beat. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thank you. Right, we have two town fans, Dave and Lucas. Swansea today, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to the match. I hope I can get, get something out of it. Yeah. Nervous. Nervous. Predictions? 1-1. One, one. When no to us. And who do you think is going to score our goals? I'll go for Nolan. Nolan. Keen or Jackson? Keen or Jackson. Okay, so obviously we've been relegated, it's confirmed, it hurts, but we've accepted it now. Do you think we're going to come back up next season? Yeah, I think Lambert's got a good young team and I think he can do the business next season, yeah. Yeah. Easily. Uh, any more words? Yeah, we had a really poor season, so hopefully... Yes! <laughs> Cheers, boys. Cheers. This is my friend Sheila! Right, um, I'm here with 
Right, I'm here with three town fans, Max, Reese, and George. Um, we've got Swansea today, how are you feeling? Uh, nervous, but we'll get a, hopefully a draw, maybe dust, I don't know, if anymore. Yeah, definitely nervous, they've got some good players, and I think we'll get a one or draw though. Yeah, I feel alright, I reckon we'll get a win. A win? Yeah, 3 2. 3 2? Yeah. Alright, okay. Um, goal scorers, Will Keane's back in the lineup, I've just seen. Um, do you reckon he will score today? Yeah, get a double. Yeah, we'll get one. Keane and Judge have scored two bangers. Yeah. Decent. I like that. I like that. Um, any last words? Ducker, you're a mug. Oh! I can't know it. What's his name? JGT. What's his, what's his name? JGT. Yeah. JGT. Where's your hairline gone, mate? Oh! oh, wow. That's not nice. Wow. Um, all right. Thanks, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Here is one of my subscribers, James. Swansea today. How are you feeling, mate? I think we might win 1 0. 1 0? Yeah. Confident? Yeah. Obviously, Will Keane's back in the lineup. He's yeah. been out. Um, who's going to score our goal today? Definitely Will Keane, header. I'm going to say header from Will yeah. Keane. Um, obviously, we're down, we're relegated. Um, it's still slowly sinking in. Yeah. But how do you think we're going to get on next season in League One? Well, it's going to be a challenge, but we're going to be challenging for the top six. And I'm hoping to finish top and just go straight up. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank Cheers. You. Right, I'm here with three Swansea City fans. Um, what are your predictions for today? Um, if we play like we did against QPR, you're going to beat us. If we play like we did against Middlesbrough, I think we'll win 2-0, 3-1. One all draw, I think. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to go with my friend Di. I think, I think it'll be a few more goals, 2-0. Yeah. Um, are there any interest players that you, you see as a threat today? Ooh, I don't know. The whole team? I think the whole team today, because now they've been relegated, I think there's no pressure on. I think they could, they could turn up today. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to play without with the, no abandon today. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah. So obviously you got relegated from the Premier League last season. How's your first season been in the Championship? Enjoyable from watching point of view and going to the games. A lot easier getting there, a lot easier getting tickets. Football's been good, but it's uh, it's very close between top and bottom. Yeah. Not like the Premier. A lot more aware games where we we're that from the, up north because we live up north. Yeah. So we got more catchment area up there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you were going to mention that. Same relegation. Now nah, we'll be back. Swansea will be back. And do you do you see a difference in the atmosphere between Premier League and Championship? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot more banter between in the Championship, and yeah. uh, you get on more, more before the games. A lot more, more friendlier. friendlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you want to give me your favourite Swansea City chant? Uh, Jack Army, Jack Army. Yeah, I'll go yeah, with that, that one. Yeah. Jack Army. Cheers, boys. Cheers, Thanks, boys. Right, we have two familiar faces. It's been a while since we've met. Yeah, since Millwall. Wasn't it? Yeah, Romando and Ian. Swansea City today at home. How are we feeling? Just in the lineup, and uh, well, you just don't know what to expect, really, do you? But I mean, like I say, there's nothing to play for now. Season's kind of over. We just want something back from really, from this season. Yeah. I mean, a win would be nice today, because yeah. I mean, we've both come down, and yeah. obviously you've both come down as well. But it's just, it's just, I just don't know what to say, really. It's, it's a very weird lineup, but just don't know what to expect with this team at the moment, do yeah. you? Yeah, seven I'm, changes. You don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> exactly. Yeah, I, I, I like to say a win, but be very lucky really Swansea 12th in the league got nothing really to play for at the moment but like I say um, I reckon if it's going to be a win today we're going to have to play our socks off because they've got some really good attacks attackers and also you know we've got a few familiar faces in that defence as well haven't they so yeah. I reckon personally saying it it might be a 1-1 but in realistic terms it could be a 2-1 to Swansea sorry to say it but yeah same kind of thinking. I mean, obviously Lambert's trying different players, even though they're lone players. So I don't really understand that. But I can only think that he might have plans for them as well. Who knows? Um, good to see Girks is getting a go, obviously, because he's just rotten in yeah. being sub. Uh, but on the context of how we've been playing, especially the last match, I, I've got to say an honest opinion is a 1-3 or even worse. But it'd be nice if we play some decent football. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Coming on to that point about Gherkin getting a game, um, do you think Bartos Bilikowski could be going next season? Well, he's technically the most highest paid, player, uh, play, p paid person in the club at the moment, isn't he, yeah. I think? Yeah. I think, um, well, it's, it's hard to say. Going down the League One, we've got two of our main players, I think, staying is at Chambers and Skuse, technically. But I'd, I'd like to say he might be, but I, it's hard to say. League One... Will he be wanting to play football with us? We don't know, do we? It's a hard yeah. one to say, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, Sheffield United next week. Um, I'm coming along with you. How, <laughs> how are you feeling? It's going to be a good day. I mean, no matter what the result is, I still support my club, you know, till I die. 
but it's going to be a good day yeah. and we're going to be dressed up I think a bit as well so you know I'll look forward to that but yeah it's going to be a good day yeah. like I say be nice to get some goals there and it'll be a good atmosphere there as well yeah. final away game of the season what yeah. better eh yeah yeah looking forward to it hopefully that will be a tighter game than maybe what today's game will be but all we can do is hope and believe in our team yeah. through thick and thin yeah, cheers fellas yeah, cheers. Cheers. Thanks. cheers mate thank you cheers, cheers. You munch on it, go on, munch it. Oh yes, Stoke, go on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Ready for a unit 17? Yes, Howard. Limbs yes. in. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm here with Jack and Kim. We've just lost 1 0. What were your thoughts on the game? We were weak, give the ball away too cheaply. And I think we we need to sort of have a serious word about tightening up at the back. Yeah. The same with Kim and and I think they're too weak for the players. Yeah. Did you see Swansea as a danger today? Did you think they were a good side? Swan, Swansea played well. Number t- uh, the James on the wing was too hot. He he, he took uh, Breer apart every time, and uh, that was a bit embarrassing for him. I think. Yeah. I think they had, they had some good players there, yeah. but they weren't no better than us really. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you both one more question. Obviously, we're relegated now, it's confirmed. Where do you think we need to strengthen next season? We need a good striker to come in, and we need two central defenders. Yeah. Yeah. And the centre mid. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys. So, just come outside Portman Road. Um, one nil loss to Swansea City today. It was a bit of a disappointing game, to, to be honest. Um, there wasn't much happening. Wayne Routledge got the goal, and we know what he's like. He's got Premier League experience. He's a very good player. Um, and we've got two games left. Sheffield United next Saturday away. I'm actually going to be going home in a sec, and I'm going to be booking my tickets for that. And I'm going to be going with Raimundo. So shout out to Raimundo. I got him in the video today. Um, and then, obviously, we've got Leeds at home. Last game of the season. Very excited for Leeds, because... We all know what's going to happen. There's going to be a massive attendance. Leeds are bringing a lot of fans, and it, it could be a big game. Uh, anyway, that's it for me. That's, <laughs> thank you for everyone that got in the video today. Um, anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like this video and subscribe right now to Alex Griffin. No!